Abby, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed and I uh, appreciate the time and meeting me here in Paradise Island. My pleasure. My first question to you, of course, is how did you discover Vertlantis? Um, well, it was because of a friend who is also an organizer here. Uh, we met in, in Skype and she also helps there some people to learn English. And she told, she told me about this, this place, about this community, which was a very interesting place for me to, to discover and practice uh, English with new people. And um, how was your first sort of experience of Atlantis? Um, well, my first experience in general with Second Life was not good because at first I, it was hard to me to understand how it, how it worked. But it took me some time, and when I, when I really get into, into this place, into Atlantis, I, I discovered it was really nice to to meet new people and to talk. Uh, to them easily. Great. And you actually run well, um, sessions yourself now in Atlantis, don't you? You you learn here, but you also help out here. Mm, yeah. I I think it. it I, I decided to do this after uh, knowing how how this, how these activities run. I, I came to some of them and I like them, and I thought that I should also try to help the community to to with my knowledge with my knowledge as a native speaker of Spanish so I could uh, thank all the people who support this community by helping and organizing a new activity and what do you like most about being in Atlantis um, because it is very easy to meet people and to talk with different people from all around the world. Here it is a place where uh, people uh, come in, pop in and pop out, and you can keep a conversation with all of them. And there is usually uh, people to talk with uh, at any time of the day. So um, it's very good for me for practicing English. And it is also easy to develop a friendship with with all of them and to meet and to talk about anything with them. Good, and it's not just about English, is it? Um, what what other kinds of act activities uh, have you taken part in? Well, I, I usually go to to English through news clips because I find it very interesting for me because it um, has to do with uh, the news which are nowadays and we read and discuss uh, very interesting topics and I also uh, have attended some activities of French I also go to, to Scrabble to have a nice time with all of them You say you meet a lot of people from all around the world here Is it only here you meet or do you keep in contact outside Second Life? Well, in general, uh, most of them are also in the Facebook account of Virtlant in the Facebook group of Virtlantis. So uh, we are usually friends also in Facebook, and we have also a group for for Spanish there, and we share some resources and make some jokes, and uh, we talk in general. We have also chat there, and also. Uh, some of them are in my Skype account and we have talked uh, and make uh, audio, audio conferences there. So it's not only a process of learning English, I think it's more, it's just that we are becoming friends. It's lovely. <laughs> So, what do you think the sort of level is required to take part in these activities as a language learner? Um, well, each activity has a required level, but I think it's not a must. Um, if you are under that level, you can just uh, go there and listen, because listening is always something good for you to get used to the accent or to the to the rhythm of speaking. Um, 
regarding the activity I I organize about Spanish, I I suggest to have an uh, uh, something a uh, level of Spanish because it is not an activity for learning Spanish as its own and it's an activity to, to practice Spanish and to chat in an informal way so we, we don't really uh, learn Spanish from scratch it's uh, a place where we just join together and practice our Spanish in an informal way and once you start attending an activity, uh, do you have to keep coming? Is it sort of, do you keep a register? Do you tell people off for not coming uh, every week? <laughs> of course not. It's not mandatory to come. <laughs> and they can uh, come and, and come back whenever they want. They can be away for several months and come back and no one will tell them anything about that. We will just ask them how are things going to them and <laughs> to tell us what they have been doing and to entertain ourselves in that way. Uh, but in general, uh, there is some members which us who usually come here every week and they don't feel forced to come back but they usually come back, so it must be because they like what we do. Pues, uh, animaros a venir aquí a Birplantis y practicar vuestro español con nosotros aquí todas las semanas, que nos lo pasamos muy bien y podemos disfrutar todos juntos. Sois todos bienvenidos. That's really great. Thank you ever so much. I should thank you, you more for everything. <laughs> It's my pleasure. I mean, when I say that, I really do mean it, by the way.